here's a rare one vintage Panasonic Panacolor tube color television VTR videotape recorder and this has composite inputs and outputs on it I'm really not sure what that date of 75 refers to So the slide controls do automatically kind of date it to the early to mid 70s. I I guess it was a companion to a Panasonic VTR and this set is in beautiful condition. I would say it's a 9 out of 10. It's almost like a little commercial. It's a model CT25V. Here's the VHF, UHF inputs, and then over here, TV audio out, TV video out, audio in, video in, video out, audio out, and then we have a VTR connector, 75 or high impedance, I guess. It's interesting that they are using PL259 connectors for the video. You can see the PL259 connector, which is kind of the old school RF, you know, ham radio CB antenna connector. I think the first thing I want to do before I power this up is get it open and maybe reform, try make sure the capacitors are formed up. Well, what a thing of beauty, or is it? So the first thing that catches my eye when I open it is this. Realistic tubes are garbage. And I thought these were realistic lifetime, not long life. And it's got the lovely leaky Matsushita, maybe I could say that a little bit, Matsushita uh, capacitors in it. Another realistic long life tube, absolute garbage. Whatever problems it has, we're going to automatically blame it on that. It's got some of those purple oil caps in it. Those are kind of garbagey. Uh, the gentleman that owns this has powered it up and I think used it quite a few times but there's a problem with the fine tuning the IF strip is solid state it's got more of these leakomatic purple capacitors All right, so what I want to do here is I want to use the dim bulb to make sure the capacitors are formed up. Uh, so let's see, how do we turn this on? On, we want to put this on TV. And what we're going to do, and you can only do this with a series string set. I'm going to yank one of the tubes out. That'll kill the filament string. Now I'm just going in with a 25 watt bulb here. And I don't know if that's enough because we do have solid state components because that sure does seem bright. But I'm gonna give that, I'm gonna grab my meter and I'm gonna give that a few minutes and we'll see if there are capacitors reforming. Wow, so we've only got 4.88 volts across this TV with a 25 watt bulb and the tube out Let's put, when I plug this one in it goes down to uh, 3.8 so 
So is this capacitors reforming or what is this? It kind of looks like it because it's creeping up. Actually, I think I made a mistake. I was assuming this was a series string set and I opened this up because I wanted to take a look at the VTR part here. And what, what do we have hiding back in here? A big power transformer. Now, does this thing supply the set? Because it looks like it's only got four wires going to it. So what is the point of this? Is, is this like an isolation transformer? So that's what this is. This is an add-on isolation transformer because you cannot have a composite video input on a hot chassis set. So that's what this is. This is simply just an isolation transformer. So we might be losing quite a bit of our 25 watts in this. I better go up on size in my bulb. That is interesting. So that's the mod they did. They just took a regular uh, hybrid series string set and put an add-on isolation transformer on the side of it. How clever. Okay, I went up to uh, 75 watts. Oh, there it just broke loose. See it getting dimmer all of a sudden? That was a capacitor that was causing that. It was shorted. And it just broke loose. Yeah, it's a series string set because look at when I plug that tube in. The voltage drops down to... Uh, that's the tube out. It's a tube in. So I'm going to let this reform for a while. I wonder if I go back to the 25 watt bulb what it'll be. Big difference. Went from 5 volts up to 40 volts. So we definitely had a capacitor that was partially shorted. Okay, let's go hot with this. It's been sitting for a while and Besides whatever was kind of initially shorted, uh, it's not shorted now. So here we go. Here we go, 119.9 volts. Like I said, the owner had had fired it up and was using it so or not using it but there we, wow nice and bright is that a convergence issue or yeah that looks like really bad convergence wow that looks horrible but let's see what he was talking about with the uh Oh yeah, the, the fine tuning is frozen. Yeah, the fine tuning is frozen to the tuning shaft. So this feels like dry grease to me so instead of totally disassembling this thing I'm wondering if I can get yeah you can see the dry grease in there I'm wondering if I can get some of my cleaner in there to break that loose okay I kinda got this loose um, it's just dried grease like in a record player. 
But before I go and totally disassemble this TV, which I'm kind of reluctant to do because it's so complicated, I want to have a look at, let's see, window circle, that would work. I want to have a look at what we got here. There we go. Wow, look at the convergence. I know it's it's not... Sh wow, that convergence is twacked. So I know this is tough to see, but over here, the convergence is whacked. Down in this corner, it's really good. So it's it's good here, and it's just trash in this area. And that's kind of interesting. I wonder what's going on there. That's almost like a bad component. So the fine tuning works. It's almost like it's got AFC on it too, does it? It does have AFC. Uh, really good color, like over too much color. Okay, the tint control works, the color control does nothing. Okay, so this color control is completely dead. The tint works, but then when I put it on auto, which allows me to adjust these controls back here. These controls work. So, yeah, weird. On the convergence, I'm going through and I'm turning each one of these back and forth a little bit. And I'm just watching. I was curious to see if maybe you can see how that one there... Oh, it just popped in. All of a sudden... It just popped in. What is it with this thing and things popping in? What's up with that? It just popped in. Kind of just has like a mind of its own here. It kind of like goes in and out. Of course now it's gonna go out. I actually think the convergence problem is in this pot right here. And I I've just been working it back and forth. Um, you don't, these are wire wound. You don't really clean these with spray. It's kind of weird that that one is marked. Someone marked that one with R. Maybe that's an R for replace. Interesting. I'm going to attempt to replace that pot. Uh, just a word of caution, these things are always super baked. Uh, they're plastic and they sit on the neck of a hot tube. So you got to be super careful when removing these. And that's probably going to be a hard pot to find because that is not like... Uh, the American stuff. There is a little electrolytic right there. I wonder how baked out that is. Could check that with the capacitor tester, I guess. Oh, there's another little electrolytic, 4.7. I wonder how baked out that. Baked! Baked! Both of these capacitors are just roached. Just totally, look at that. Just baked open. What's interesting is this does not look like it's configured as a pot. It looks like it's configured uh, as a rheostat. Did I get that right? Where one leg is not connected, which would lead me tempted to just take this out and put a fixed resistor in there but the problem is if I change those capacitors it's probably going to need to be totally reconverged 
I changed those two capacitors that were on this board. Both of them were totally wide open. This one and this one. I replaced both of them. See it there. You can see the other new one down there. And it made no change. So what I'm tempted to do is I'm tempted to just cut. If that's 50 ohms, I'm tempted to just cut one of the traces and put a 50 ohm resistor if I have one on the back. This is measuring 78 ohms right now. This is a point. It connects from ground to a 0 .082 capacitor. So I'm tempted just to put a fixed resistor here because finding a replacement that will mount in these holes is going to be difficult. Alright, what I've done here is I've lifted the capacitor out that connected to this bad control. We're assuming it's bad. And I put two 33 ohm resistors in series there. This is sort of temporary for testing. But if it looks good, I might just leave it because, like I've been saying, finding a pot that will drop in here is going to be fairly difficult. And these are high wattage pots. They're like 2 or 3 watts. These are 3 watt 1% resistors, so they should hold their value. Like I say, change the capacitors, see how it looks. Weird, so it just lost it with the fixed resistors in there. It just went clinky dinkler so it's not the resistor maybe it's this diode right here because I hit this diode with freeze spray and it popped back in but it is really intermittent really intermittent okay it just lost it again I'm gonna hit that diode with freeze spray It popped back in. Clipped onto the diode there, it, it sure seems to be what's flaky. I'm going to hit it again with freeze spray. Uh, watch the voltage here. That's That diode certainly seems to be... Uh, yeah, I wonder what that is. I wonder if that's just a diode it's a little round diode like that one right there. That's an interesting looking diode. It's kind of epoxy domed like those crappy early transistors. That's got to go. I'm just going to put a fast recovery diode in there. Okay, this is an MUR140 out of a switching mode power supply. I believe MUR is Motorola Ultra Fast Recovery Rectifier. So this should work very well in place of this. I, this might have been selenium. So yeah, it's a 1 amp super fast recovery. It's looking good with that diode. I guess we just got to watch it and see if it flakes out. So interesting, this one tests good. Maybe what I'll do is I'll set it in the sun. Maybe it flakes out with heat. So interesting, a minute in the sun and it went open. I'm going to freeze it. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, it, it's the diode is bad. 100% confirmed. So I guess now that I've got a solid diagnosis, it was a bad diode, I guess I can uh, get my resistors out of there because it, it is not that pot. And that's, that's interesting. So tweaking around with that pot must have changed the load or whatever just enough on that diode to get it to kick in. So anyway, um, yeah. For something to be scientific, we have to repeat it at least what three times so I'm gonna spray this thing again it's OL right now there it goes 
So, uh, two times is good enough. That diode is the fault in this TV. Okay, it's all put back. Took this off. Uh, new diode. It's rock solid. Convergence is about a, a 9 out of 10. The only issue is really this line right here at the top. And I can't seem to adjust that, but the rest of it is like perfect now. It is really very close to a 9 out of 10. This line right here would bring that in. So very impressive. I think we're ready to watch some TV. Coming included. There it is. Thank you so much, Sella. So let's go over a couple things here. Um, this is bad and I can move it around and I can feel it's like broken inside. Of course it's not going to do it now but uh, I had it sort of working. But anyway that's irrelevant because these things were never that good and someone probably bumped it or something and it broke. So you just turn this on and it overrides these controls for these controls back here. Um, as far as the fine tuning goes, it, it's I got it loosened up by spraying some cleaner in there and it's working pretty good. There's a point with these sets where you hit diminishing returns and what I mean by that is I feel like if I was to try and take this thing apart, disassemble this set to get to this stuff to fix it, I would probably do more damage and break more than I would solve. So it's kind of like if you can deal with it, don't fix it kind of thing. Uh, it's got a beautiful picture. So, really excited about that. Extra small through 3X. You can stay true to size. No zippers. You just pull it right on. It's fantastic. Also, did you notice this jewelry I have on? This is coming up. Paul Wood. This back, you're going to get that same beautiful stripe pattern. Now, on the bed, this is called Dusty Rose. And that's most popular. Remember your... It might have a little bit too much uh, horizontal deflection. You can see it off to the side there. That would probably drive me nuts. I don't think there's an adjustment for that. Let me get us in a tripod here. So yeah, I mean this this could be an adjustment or it could be those oil capacitors in the um, the damper and horizontal output circuit or more small electrolytics. I mean we know this thing needs a bulk recap. That's obvious by those capacitors I changed on the convergence board. These pots don't really clean up that well either. I think I'm crazy. Um, if you have one of those big farmhouse tables, right? Think right. Doesn't get better than that. Come on over with me. So we will have fashion, we will have jewelry, but I also promise you beauty and already, gosh, incredibly popular. Benefit Cosmetics is the number one prestige mascara company out there. They are a female family business, okay? And what I love about this is if Ooh, you look love at the beauty. their real mascara, it's a look number at that one beautiful color. It's all about skin the tone and curl to your lashes, then you will flip out for the newest formulation of their real mascara. It's called Magnetic because it is a mineral-based formula. Mm. He relied on four important values. Freshness, quality, variety, and service. I'm proud to carry on his... Come on, come on. All right, Has a nice picture. It's small. It's what, 12 inch? It's a small set. See what we can get here. We're on rabbit ears tonight, so 
say too is to step back for a second it's just another lineage that comes from omicron so it's a type of omicron variant um, what we had here before was called ba1 i think what you're pointing out uh, is that when we had ba1 here in the u.s we had a more uh, aggressive strain than they had in europe and so if you look at the growth of cases in europe which which is which are reasonably high um we don't necessarily expect we're going to see the exact same pattern here we could see a much lower growth here so we'll have to see you know this virus behaves in mysterious ways there's lots of variables it will to schools because yep. he was engaged to Jennifer Hudson. Oh. That's her commission. She's his manager in a way. Wow. Keep that ring. Yeah. Get that diamond. Yeah. But you know, but my thing is though, I mean, if I was her, I would have given, I, I would give have so many shows been so primed for prime time. Buzzer Prime. Weeknights starting at 8, right here on Buzzer. Great picture. Avengers being added together. So, I'm not accusing my friend, the district attorney, of doing this deliberately. He's trying to... Again, the green might be a tad high, but it's a really good picture. And again, you can see that the convergence, how good the convergence came out. I mean, that is impressive convergence. Truths that formed the cornerstone for the state's case. And now, you probably want to know who. You could clean these. You flipped. You clean these pots until the grass turns brown, and they just never. EMT TV. She's. Yeah. We don't really care. We're just interested. I might have the color up a tad too. Huh? But you got good greens. You got your colors are good with this thing. Carolina del Sur y comenzamos con células humanas en cultivo. Célula de cáncer de colon, estómago y célula de And that's in 4 by 3 you can see we got the whole got the whole thing filled up. Estos cultivos humanas con cáncer. And it goes something like this. So together prayer to show the need. We could take a peek in the inside and see the glowage, but I don't know if there's going to actually be much. You see those hot and bothered realistic tubes in there. But that's really about it. There's the CRT. Yeah, it came out really well, and I thought it was an interesting diagnosis with the bad uh, diode. I thought that was... And it's going to be citizens of the signage. This is a I was able to move it over with the horizontal hold. You can, you can move the... Ho usually the horizontal hold, see what I mean? And you're going to get a solid. So right here in the middle, you can see it so you can, in the you can move it around, try and center it out Over the best here, you can. So too, but I think it's great. still got a little bit You're too much width. But anyway, a uh, nice fix. Let's close it with this. And, and I think the CRT so might be a tad on the weak side. Watercolor.